Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at some awesome Minecraft mods. The first mod I am talking about today is called Extra Dungeons. This mod adds 6 fresh dungeons to the underground world of Minecraft. Each dungeon has its own mob spawner, a series of traps and a loot room at the end. Every dungeon design is unique and they are all themed around the type of mob that spawns in them. The Drown dungeon for example is completely filled with water and it will only spawn in ocean biomes. The skeleton, zombie and spider dungeon can spawn in any biome. Stray dungeons will only generate in snowy or icy biomes and husk dungeons are found in the desert. Let's talk about the next mod called Zombie S'more. It will add 5 new zombies to the game. These new zombies are way harder because each has its own special ability. Let's go through them one by one. First we have the crawler zombie. It has no legs but makes up for being really fast and sneaky. It can even climb walls, so it's not easy to escape from. Next, the tank zombie. It's a big, tough zombie covered in armor. It can't see very well and only attacks when close. But when it does, it hits super hard. The more you hurt it, it's stronger it gets. Then there is the cursed zombie. This one was a spooky mess, it can't fly anymore, but don't relax too soon. When you kill it, the head turns into a flying enemy that keeps attacking you from the air. We also have the explosive zombie. This one stays at a distance and throws dynamite. So watch out for surprise explosions. Finally, there's the boomer zombie. It fights like a regular zombie, but when it dies, it releases a poison mist that turns the area around it into a toxic danger zone. Each of these zombies drops something special. The crawler zombie drops guts, tank zombie drops brains and the cursed zombie drops a cursed heart. These new drops can be used for many things. For example, new potions that will help you in battle. Agile instinct makes you super fast but also makes you hungry and gives you mining fatigue. There's intoxication, a dangerous potion that will kill you after one minute so be careful with that one. Or maybe try to trick your friends. The mod also introduces some cool new weapons. There's dynamite, a smaller version of TNT that's great for controlled explosions and you can throw it at your enemies. The next weapon is the toxic bomb, which creates a poisonous cloud after exploding. And the last new weapon is the fire sword, which sets enemies on fire. The next Minecraft mod is a camping mod that adds backpacks, tents, a grill, new tools and a sleeping bag. This mod adds 7 new backpacks, each providing 3 extra rows of storage. They are simply designs like the sheep backpack and even an ender pack that works exactly like the ender chest, giving you easy access to your stored items from anywhere. With the new multi-tool you can rotate any block. The grill works exactly like the campfire, just place some food on it and wait for it to cook. Next up, let's check out the new Helion mod. This mod adds a small cute new creature to Minecraft called Helions. These sunflower-like beings live in a temple located in the sunflower plains biome. You can trade with them to get the Helion fragments, a new material used to craft blocks, armor, tools and weapons. To get the new ingots you have to combine gold and the new fragments. The Helion armor set gives you a damage boost during the day when fully equipped. You can also craft new blocks using the Helion fragments. Now let's talk about the new mobs added by this mod. The regular Helion trades Helion tokens for gold bars. These tokens are essential for trading and getting Helion sacks. The Helion professionals. These Helions offer different sacks based on their profession. These sacks include profession related loot and Helion fragments, but they only trade using Helion tokens. There are also Helion protectors. These small Helions guard the temple and will attack you if you cause trouble. There were Helion armor and will Helion swords. Then there is also the Helion Empress, the ruler of the Helions. She doesn't do much, but if attacked she summons two Helion golems to defend her. Finally, this mod also adds some new sunflower related paintings. Perfect to decorate the new temple. The next mod is the you have goat to be kidding me mod. This mod enhances the vanilla experience of goats in Minecraft with some new exciting features. Ram block. Crafted from goat horns, this block can break other blocks by ramming into them with a piston. It can break anything up to obsidian hardness but will only drop iron tier blocks. It also deals knockback and damage to entities when pushed. The barbaric helmet. Made from goat horns and copper. This helmet boosts your strength and speed when your health is low. 
making it a lifesaver in tough situations. Chevin is a new meat dropped by goats, adding more variety to your food options. Geep. These unique creatures result from breeding a goat and a sheep. While they can't breed, they yield wool and chevin, and can be milked. However, they are frail and have less health and cannot be dyed. The Fetch is a decorative building block that's perfect for adding a nordic touch to your builds. Now let's talk about a few new mobs. The Ghostly Zombie is a floating and transparent new mob. Its attacks gives you the nausea effect. Next on the list is the black stone creation. Beware of these creatures, they blind you if they hit you. The next one is the skeleton spider. This creepy spider acts like a regular one, but adds the wither effect to its attacks. Next is the grimmin. These adorable passive mobs can be tamed with scorching berries, and they will follow you. The next passive mob is the pixan. They float around and glow in the dark. When you right click them, while wearing any kind of boots, they will enchant your boots with the lava walker which is a new enchantment that lets you walk on lava. There are also some neutral mobs, like the flameless one. It lets you ride it with no extra conditions, but it will attack you if you hurt it. Then, there's also the wildfire mob. They behave just like blazes. Except, they can run on land and they have shields around them that protects them from attacks. To kill it, you need to break its shields first. This mod introduces aggressive orc mobs, armed with stone swords. You will find them living in new orc hut structures, scattered across plains and forest biomes. Inside these huts, you can discover an orc spawner, unique decorations and loot worth battling for. The 4 extension fossil mod adds exciting new structures to the game. Explore 3 new fossil types and 3 giant shapes that are sure to catch your attention. Additionally, you will encounter camps of monsters that have made their home in giant skulls. These giant fossils can also spawn in ocean biomes, making underwater explorations even more fun. Even the illagers have made their homes in these fossils. Inside the camps you will have to fight against them to free the captured villagers and get your hands on some loot. Faded Conquest 2 is a Minecraft boss mod that introduces powerful new bosses to the game, along with exciting new weapons and structures to enhance your adventure. Now, let's talk about all the new bosses. The Faded King is a boss with two phases and different attack types. He uses dash attacks, jumps at you and can summon minions to help him. After you defeat him the first time, he enters phase 2, where he attacks faster and harder. When you finally defeat him, he drops the Conquest Blade, a very powerful weapon that only the strongest player can use. This blade is very heavy and slow to use, but it deals a lot of damage and sends mobs flying. The Arrow Guardian can be found in a temple high up in the air. Upon entering, the weather will change to a thunderstorm. The boss strikes with lightning, shoots projectiles and summons whirlwinds to lift players into the air. When defeated, it drops two powerful weapons. The Eye of Storm, a laser device that smites targets and requires electro charges to use, and the Storm Clasher which grants the player electric speed when right-clicked. Terrible 10 is a boss made up of 10 smaller mobs that combine to form a knight. You must fight them as a group. When you defeat the knight, the mobs separate into their distinct forms and you have to battle them again. Once defeated, you can capture these mobs to use as a personal army in your adventures. Plaguebringer summons toxic crows as minions and deals poison to opposing players. It can also become invisible and use dash attacks. In its second phase, it teleports around the room while summoning lethal toxic spikes to attack its foes. Doom Harbor Lich resides in a large tower protected by skeleton spawners. It can summon an undead army to assist it in battle. This powerful Lich is summoned when the player tries to steal the ominous skull. Subtle effects adds many new details to Minecraft via particles and sound. All of them can be toggled and customized. The mod is also mainly designed for client-side use. A few of the key features are fiery lighted blocks like campfires and torches now emit sparks. Villagers and players now snore, complete with sleeping particles. Slimes leave a trail of slime. Glowstone and redstone blocks now emit dust particles. Ally and Vexes produce magical effects. Shearing a sheep now drops a fluff effect. Burning entities create sparks, smoke and flames. Updated smoke textures similar to campfire smoke. That's it for today's mod showcase video. I hope you liked the mods and found some you want to try out. Let me know which ones you like in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and see you next time.